Is there anybody that you would take from Scotland squad currently for the England squad? Um, would you support Scotland if they qualified and England didn't for the Euros? Yeah. You would, you wouldn't. Would. Who do you think is Scotland's biggest ever legend or best ever player? Is there anyone in the Scottish League currently who you think could play in the Premier League? No. Scotland are in fantastic form and have won their opening three games of the current qualifying campaign for Euro 2024. That is the first ever qualifying campaign where they've won their first three games in a row. I was at two of them, Cyprus and Spain. They've just recently beaten Norway. And I'm in England, in Manchester actually, to ask England fans who will be outside of Old Trafford today for England Macedonia, some Scotland related questions. I've done this type of video with Scottish people on English football. I've done it with Celtic and Rangers, Liverpool, Everton, Man United, Man City, Arsenal, Spurs. I find it really interesting to ask rival fans about like their biggest rival whether that be club or international team is there real deep-rooted hatred from the England fans to Scotland or is it a bit more of a friendly rivalry let's go and find out Did you see the Scotland game against Norway the other night? Yes, I did. I saw the highlights, yeah. yeah, for sure. What do you think of how they've been getting on, not just in that game, but in this qualification process so far? Um, I think Scotland's doing quite well at the moment. Um, I'm a Villa fan myself, so you've got John McGinn, he's a major player. Absolutely. Player. You must be proud of McGinn exactly. at the moment. He's unreal, yeah. Yeah, brilliant man. Yeah. Scotland uh, performing at high ability. Yes. It's quite worrying, really. Because, really? Uh, well, if they do get through, there might be some interesting old firm clashes with England getting through. Yeah, so would you want to avoid them, do you think, if they were to both qualify? Would you um, want to avoid Scotland based on I how they're think, playing? I, well, not necessarily how they're playing. I think it would be quite nice if we both get through yep. to avoid in the sort of group play. Yep. But maybe play each other later on in the knockouts. Like knockouts that would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Hopefully we win though, so. And I was actually going to say, so you're a <laughs> yes. Villa fan, so I might yes. know the answer to this question, but is there anybody that you would take from Scotland squad currently for the England squad? Um, no. The other way round. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. really, no. We wouldn't maybe take Robertson Ooh. over Luke Shaw? He's probably maybe the only one that you'd say, right? World class left yeah, back, yeah, Andy Robson. Yeah, Richard. And you're a Carlisle supporter, obviously. Oh, Carlisle till I die. Which isn't far from <laughs> Scotland, obviously, where oh, no. um, I'm making today's video about. Yeah. What were your thoughts on Scotland's win against Norway recently? Uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with them, really. I got two late goals and that, like. I, I, I want all the old home nations to do well, really, because. Yep. There's a lot of Scottish up where we live. I don't think the Scottish care so much about us, like. No, of course. I always say that I think English fans want all the home nations to do well. The rest of the home yeah. nations fans want England to do terribly. Definitely, definitely. You know I mean? Yeah, I don't know why they've got it in for us, like. <laughs> Is there any players in the Scotland squad that you would take for England currently? Yeah, I don't think any of them would get in, like. No? No, we reckon? can't squeeze all our players in as it is, so. What left back? Robbo, potentially? Yeah, uh, yeah, he's, he's not bad. T Tierney, he's, he's, yeah. he's, he's good as well, like. So maybe them two would get our B side. What were your thoughts on the Scotland result away to Norway recently? The, I mean, I was impressed by it. 88th minute, I'm, well, I thought it was going to end in a draw, but. Yep. They were obviously 1-0 down in the 96th, uh, 86th minute or something, they came back. You think they're overachieving just now, or? Uh, I'm not. Doing good for themselves. So. Doing all right. Would you take any of the Scotland players currently for England? Probably Robertson. Just Robbo, you reckon, the yeah. left-back. Do you think he's better than Shaw? Yeah, yeah. We know Scotland are doing really well, so... Yeah, what do you think, not just about that game, but about their form in general in the, well, in the qualifying uh, campaign? To be honest, I'm actually happy to see Scotland doing well. I yep. always support the home nations unless they play against England. Nice, of course, of course so, yeah. yeah, except for when they play England. And what did you think of when England played Scotland in the last Euros then? Uh, well, what was that? Nil-nil, wasn't nil, it, nil, at Wembley? Yeah, it wasn't too impressive, mm, was it? Yeah. yeah, Scotland the, actually went closer to win the game. That was our yeah. worst match of the tournament, I would say. Yeah. But Scotland's best? Probably, Scotland yeah, played yeah. well, Scotland yeah, played okay, yeah. nullified yeah, the played threats. Yeah, yeah. Would you take any Scotland players right now for England? Um, I don't know. Maybe Roberts. Robertson, yeah. Um, big, yeah. Uh, one yeah. Absolutely. That's about the only one. I think he's a better left back than Shaw, personally. Uh, Shaw's been doing really well for England. Yep. But, yeah, Robertson's just, you know... Champions been, League winner, Champions Premier League, League winner. winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's world class. I don't think we've got any world class full backs, at least left backs anyway. Yeah, of course. We've got a lot of right backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too and many right 
man. Do you watch much club football in Scotland? Uh, not really, no. Who are your teams that you support? Uh, only England, really. Oh, you don't have a club team, just all, uh, not, all about England? Not so much. We actually live abroad. Okay, I right. I support a team in Budapest in Hungary. Right, okay, yeah. Who's your team in Budapest? <laughs> uh, it's called Uipesh, don't they? Uipesh, yeah, are they yeah. playing purple? Yeah, purple. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, 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 I know them. Okay, cool. Our mum's Hungarian. So ah, yeah. right, okay, so half Hungarian, half yeah, exactly, English. Yeah, yeah. Big England supporter. Do you ever root for Scotland? Uh, not too much, no. Not too much? Were you happy to see their result against Norway and their other yeah, results I'm, in qualifying? I'm, I'm glad to see them because they're part of the UK, so yep. I guess. Would you rather that they qualify for tournaments? You don't think the rivalry is that strong that you wouldn't no, want them to qualify? No, I'd like to see them qualify. Maybe Wales as well. Yeah, yeah. Northern Ireland and Ireland as well. Yep. Maybe if they could get through yep. too. Um, is there any Scotland players that you would currently take for England? Uh, well, I think... McTominay should probably play for England. Right, okay. He is actually from English. So you're a Man United <laughs> fan. Yeah. Um, you've obviously got McTominay already. Is there anyone who's playing in the Scottish leagues currently? So a club player like at Celtic or Rangers that you would take at Manchester United? To be fair, I can't even think of any. England duty tonight, obviously. Yeah. But what have you thought about the recent Scotland results? Given that they were losing with about two minutes to go, quite a good result actually. Yep, the Norway result. And they won their first two games against uh, Cyprus and Spain as well. Yes, yeah, so they got nine points, haven't they? Nine out of nine. First I mean, time in their history to do so. Is it Georgia on Tuesday as well? Yes, yeah. So, Knows his stuff. To be fair to them, like, as, as much as we don't like them, it's, uh, it's good to have them in the mix, isn't it? I was there at the Euros and it made for a good atmosphere. Yeah, what did you think of their performance in that game? Because that was their only point that they got in the group, wasn't it? Yeah horrible game it was awful and the weather yeah. was terrible the That's game right. was poor yeah um, but as you know what they did what they were gonna do in a game like yeah. that, didn't they? So. and which player stands out for you from that game then Robertson. Robertson Robert. and Tom and I, I think. Gilmore had a good game, I seem to remember as well. With Billy Gilmore. I had lots to drink. Before, <laughs> yeah, fair remember. enough, fair enough. <laughs> can't blame you for that. Especially uh, the way the game panned out as well. You that probably had a few it. afterwards as well. It was tough. And um, is there any players in the Scotland squad currently who you'd take for England right now? I'd, I'd take McTominay, but I'm a Man United fan. United fans, both of Absolutely you? Absolutely not. <laughs> I, you are a... I'm a Grimsby fan. Grimsby fan, okay. And so this could be an easy one for you to answer then. Who do you think is Scotland's biggest ever legend or best ever player? Dalgleish. Dalgleish, you say? Yeah, who do you reckon? I don't know. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really take much interest in Scotland. Fair enough. Well, there's a man on the statue over there, Dennis Law. Yeah. What were your initial reactions to the Scotland result against Norway? Surprised. Yeah, sure. Surprised, okay. Yeah, it's a great result yeah. away from home. Yeah. Especially with Haaland, I take it, as yeah. well? Like, well, they brought yeah, Haaland definitely. off, didn't they? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. And then they went and scored after it, didn't they? A different result. Different result if stayed on. Yeah, yeah. and who, what club teams do you support then? Forest and Derby. Forest, Forest and Derby. Derby. Okay, right. Is there anyone in the Scottish League that you would take right now for your no. team? Jota at Celtic. You take Jota. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. You think he'd be right in the Championship oh, or Premiership yeah, level, yeah. or? I'd take a punt on him. Yeah. yeah. Championship yeah. level. Yeah. Player, yeah. Do you know if there'd be anyone, I know you're not hugely into the Scottish leagues, yeah. but is there anyone in the Scottish league currently who you think could play in the Premier League? No. No? And Postacoglu's just gone. Tavernier, yeah, yeah. Rangers right back. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. yeah. Tavernier's a good shot. Postacoglu's just gone to uh, Spurs. Do you think he'd take Kyogo with him or Hatate, some of the Japanese lads? A bit of Kyogo. I know Kyogo gets a few goals, doesn't yeah. he? Is, is he a striker? Or is he a winger? He's a striker, yeah, striker. that's right, yeah, yeah. Possibly, yeah. Not, not if Kane goes especially, that. then he's a striker. Then maybe, yeah, yeah, fair enough. And um, is there any players in the Scotland squad currently who you would take for England? Right now? Robbo at left back, probably. Yeah, if you could just change his nationality overnight, make yeah, him English, yeah. you'd take him. Well, you'd be, I think he'd be the only Not one, so yeah. Anymore. If England, the, you know, the unthinkable happened, they lost every single game now to qualify, and they didn't qualify, who would you support in the, in the Euros? Um, Let's pretend Scotland got there as well. Yes. Um, personally, I would say the Netherlands because okay. they're the most creative, one. creative nation in the Euros at yep, the moment. Fair enough. Um, I like most of the players, they're absolutely fabulous. And would you support Scotland if they qualified and England didn't for the Euros? Yeah. Nah. You would, you wouldn't? Would. Who would you support then? Well, my great grand was German, so maybe Germany. Germany and not Scotland. If England weren't to qualify, would you support Scotland in the Euros if they get there too? Yeah, I'd start probably watching them, yeah, but I think we're guaranteed to qualify now. A bit of a tough one, like, this like this should be a formality today, and then two two teams can qualify now, yeah. and then there's always the backup of third place in the playoffs, so I think we've got a pretty good chance, like. Yeah. But yeah, I still want them to do well, but obviously when, if they play England, then uh, All the right, world is lies south, course, south of the border.
that's what the England fans thought about Scottish football. A few different uh, questions there that I asked them, Scotland-related questions. Let me know in the comments what you thought um, about the answers to some of the questions. Would you have said different things? I think that McGinn would get a couple of games for England. I think he'd be on the fringes. I think he's good enough, but I think, for me, Robbo is probably the only world-class player that you could actually put in the England side. Um, biggest legends for me are Dennis Law. You've got Ali McCoist. You've got Kenny Dalglish. Soon, you've got some fantastic players. I would have just missed out a hand, uh, loads, obviously, of uh, world-class players that Scotland have had down the years. Um, always underachieved, in my opinion, Scotland, especially in international football. They've never been past the group stages of a European tournament before. Um, I really hope they can do it. I love Scottish football. I'm from England. Grew up watching English football, but I feel like I've really broadened my horizon since having this channel, especially living in Scotland. I love Scottish football so much, and it makes me so happy that both England and Scotland are doing so well right now. Let's hope that both can get to the Euro can avoid each other in the groups and maybe play each other in the final. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.